Hey folks, in this episode I've got a dashboard. I'm trying to analyze purchases across different product categories and I want to know the sort of overlap between these customers. So if they buy from the furniture category, how many of those buy from the tech category as well to help our marketing department out. So in terms of cross promotional sales, they could potentially do. The dashboard is not working for me at the moment. I don't think it quite shows that overlap at all. Uh, or what I want actually is something like a Venn diagram or a Euler diagram to show, show the overlap in sales. Uh, but that's not a native chart in Tableau. So how can I do this? Well, let's use some AI. Okay, so my first step, I'm gonna try out Perplexly AI. This is a AI tool that lets you go and example, do a Google search and it'll come back with a constructive answer for you. But the best thing about it, it's got all the references so you can go on and learn about all those different examples just like you on Google. So here I'm going through, I'm trying to find my perfect sort of Venn diagram, this Euler diagram. What I've noticed here is there's an R package here called Euler, which lets me draw Venn diagram, Euler diagrams in R. So I'm going to try that. The idea being that if I can get it to be drawn in R, maybe I can get that coordinate data out and then draw it in Tableau. So I've got a little example put together there and I'm going back to uh, Perplexity to go and answer how I can do more with this. But I'm running into issues. Perplexity, it works nicely for like as a better Google search, uh, but I'm heading back over the chat GBT, uh to go and help me progress this R code to the next stage. Yeah, so I've got my plots. I want to get those coordinate positions out so I can go and draw that Venn diagram in Tableau. The idea being that then I can go and interact with that so I can interact with everything that's in A, but also in C in this case. So everything that's in furniture, but also in technology, analyze those customers and produce a dashboard narratively around that overlap. Okay, so I've got ChatGPT to work out the centers of my circles and their radiuses. What I want it to do is go and craft me, say a hundred points to go and draw each circle. That way I can go and plot it in Tableau like a polygon. Got it good. I've got my X, Y coordinates. They look like circles, uh, but to draw my polygons, I'm going to need a path. So working out what order uh, the line should be drawn in to make my shape. Fix my data set, bring in a new one. I can then put path on there and I've got, you can see there's three different circles coming through. So I've got my three circles all overlapping nicely. The only issue is they're not interactive how I want. So if I click the point that's in between A and C, I'm probably just gonna hit one circle like A and that will then filter my dashboard for everything in A, but I want to filter for everything in A and C. So what it turns out is I'm gonna to need to create a polygon for every single sub shape within this. So the intersection of all three, the intersection of A and B, A and C, B and C, and the what's left in A, what's left in B, what's left in C. This gets really complicated. Okay, so I've got a new file, I'm bringing that into Tableau. Again, I'm having this sort of path issue. You can see those shapes aren't quite coming together. They are there. It's then the outer circles that are now wrong. Because obviously what I've done here is I've taken the intersection of the two and taken all the points. Uh, but what I need is for that circle to then have that outline of the shape of those that intersection points as well. And I look at these shapes, I can't quite understand what's going on. So I bring one in here and you can see what's going on. It's because what I'm trying to do is add one bit with the actual center part and you have that line going through the middle. So it really struggles to work out what the order of the shape is meant to be. And this isn't what I thought it would be. I thought it would be much, much more straightforward. I could find that coordinator, that would be fine. But actually having to work out these individual points really difficult using a lot of maths chat gpt is really helping but it looks like it's going to be quite a long process okay it's at this point i've kind of hit the brick wall it's taking too long it's not quite working so what i'm going to do so i'm going to use chat gpt's ability to read images i'm going to give it 
the Euler diagram we made at the start, the example version, give it the centers, give it the radius, and then ask it to draw x, y coordinates to remake this shape. I want it also to give me a script so I can redo that in R, so I can keep change the parameters to then rebuild a new Venn diagram or Euler diagram later. So it's given me a lot of CSV files back, seven. But hey, I can go and draw one of those in Tableau and that looks like it's gonna work. It's just giving me the XY coordinates. I need that path as well. And to have them all in one complete file that tells me which bit each one is. Okay, so it's given me a file to download. I've got the scripts. I'm now gonna just run it locally. And again, some issues. But there, ChatGPT is able to give me the solution for it, and I'm able to progress with this. I can now re-upload this file, and there we go. We have three circles, we have three or seven segments for our different categories. That was quite quick. Okay, so I've got those original sets. I just need to go and change those for the data in our data set. Okay, so I'm just modifying the output file and making sure that I can make changes to this and they will be reflected in the in the file. That looks good. Okay, I've got a template working. Now I just gonna need to go and work out the customer overlap for my different categories. So I've got I've got furniture, I've got technology, I've got office supplies here, and I've worked out the count distinct of each customer there. I'm a bit lazy. I'm going to ask ChatGPT if it can go work out the overlaps between these different customers as well. So I've got it to go and write that calculated field. I'm just going to go and double check that that is right. Okay, so it can do that is right. I just need to go and change it to do all of the op options here. And just what I'm going to do is put that into my calculated field and I'm going to spell that as a bar chart and then input those numbers back into R to generate my template. So looking at this, there's a huge overlap between all three categories. I really wasn't expecting that. I thought it'd be much more isolated than that. But yeah, you're having cases where very few people only buy from one product category. You get a diagram that looks like this and I'm going back to the figures. It doesn't look right to me because of the scaling. One customer is meant to represent is quite a large shape in this is very comparable to 600 customers. So here I even go on to a little online tool just to double check it's all working correctly. And I can see here there's a large amount of errors. So what's happening is is occupying the space of say 100 points when really it should occupy the space of one. And I think this is some of the downside of Euler Venn diagrams is they don't always show the correct spacing here. So Tableau has done it right. I've been able to get this right. The visualization is just not what I wanted in the end. But I don't want to end on nothing. I want to improve this visualization anyway. So I want to go and take this, what I've done here, and go and add it into my dashboard. So I've got my template there. I've got that data set. I'm now going to make that field to join across the two. Then I'm going to go and create a custom relationship for that. So when I click on each point of my Euler diagram, I can go and filter the dashboard that way. Okay, to finish this off, I think what would be quite nice here is just to have a quick table of all those customers that have purchased from different product categories and how much they've purchased over the, over the years. Get rid of all those other data sets. I'm going to save it. Then on Tableau Public. Okay, I've got my template done. I've got my script. I want to reuse that script in the future, potentially if I get a, a different data set. So I'm going to give ChatGPT that script and I'm going to say, hey, can you create for me a readme that I could put on GitHub? So it's written something out. It's then gone and prompted to give me a downloadable file for that readme. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to go and put that on my GitHub account. So that's all written out for me because I'm kind of out of time at the moment. So I've got that downloaded. I'm going to put that in my folder as well. So that's all good. And I'm just going to tidy up my files, move them all off to a different folder. 
Okay. So now we upload that to GitHub. Sadly, it's gone and added the final bit, you know, where it says, remember to adjust this for an AI. I, I don't have time at the moment. I just want to have something there. So go and edit that out. And now I've got my dashboard. That's all working nicely on Tableau Public. Looks good to me. Uh, we're going to call that time. I learned a lot from this that, yes, you can go and take visualizations out there in other packages. Say so in this case, it was R, it could be Python, and bring those into Tableau. We saw how it here, how it got increasingly complicated. I was trying to mark out the outlines of all those different shapes. If you're ever finding it too complicated, it's always a chance that, hey, you could stop that and restart from a fresh prompt from a different approach, and you might get there. In this case, we were lucky we did. But even after all that work, we found the script, we brought it into Tableau. It didn't look how I was expecting it to look or how I wanted it to look. If I had gone and done a bit more research, they found an online tool, input my numbers straight away, you know, that might have been a better starting point to think, hey, maybe Euler diagram, Venn diagram is not going to be the most accurate looking for this. But hey, you live and learn. Uh, we were able to build something new in Tableau. I hope you're able to take this script. It's all going to be available in the description here. So you can go and take that, input your own data, your own overlaps, and see what you make. Other than that, I will see you in the next episode. Bye.